Outdoor Junkies is presented by Lightfield Ammunition, manufacturers of premium ammunition, and Whitetails Unlimited, working for an American tradition. Hey, good morning. We're out here at Gander Mountain in Madison, Wisconsin. Today we're uh, going to do a little handgun safety training and a little team building with the gang here. And uh, we've got some virtual courses and a little handgun safety that we're working on. We're going to build up the self-preservation and uh, confidence with handguns. Stay tuned, though. Check out these guys having some fun. I can't wait to reel the first one in. Everybody looks at us like we're nuts. Got him, got him, got him. Outdoor Junkies! <laughs> <laughs> Well, my name is Jeff. I'm the manager of the academy. Um, we're going to go through uh, handgun fundamentals today. I got a law enforcement background. I was a police officer for about 12 and a half years. Became a firearms instructor with the state. Taught for the police academy at Madison College for about uh, 10 years. But like most of you, it sounds like I've been uh, hunting and fishing, you know, my whole life in, in uh, Wisconsin. So uh, rifles and shotguns are, are one thing, but uh, handguns are definitely kind of a different animal. They're, uh, they're one of the most uh, least forgiving platforms. So you can get away with some, you know, some flinches and, and bad trigger uh, discipline or trigger control with uh, the rifles and shotguns, which is why everybody likes to shoot rifles. If you do that with a handgun, it's, uh, it's greatly going to affect where that round's going. Let me introduce a couple things that we have in front of you. There's a book uh, that kind of follows along with the slides. We're going to play a little safety video here that'll cover uh, everything that you're going to do at the academy today, which is uh, the class. Uh, we're going to head over to the virtual range, the simulators, and then we're going to finish up on the live range later on this afternoon and the evening. Let me introduce the, uh, the guns that you have in front of you. These are uh, Glock model uh, 22 40 caliber handguns. These are what we call our Gander Green guns. They are safe classroom guns. When they show up here, we test them to make sure that they don't fire and uh, they only stay in here in the classroom. So we use these in conjunction with the, uh, the little snap cap rounds as a uh, safe way to train in the classroom that we can load and unload and show clear and without any live firearms. We still treat them like live firearms as firearms owners. Uh, you pledge to keep those firearms out of the underage, the untrained, and the unauthorized. There's so many different ways nowadays to lock up firearms with safes and gun locks and cable locks and, and things like that. There's just no excuse to have unsecured firearms laying around the home or in the vehicle or at work or, or anything like that where someone who's either underage, unauthorized, or untrained uh, can get a hold of them. Everybody's got some uh, magazines in front of you. These are double stack magazines. So you can see as the, uh, as the rounds go down inside, they zigzag back and forth. Allows you a little bit higher magazine capacity. First, it's important to, to know if your firearm is loaded or not. So anytime you pick up a new firearm, you always want to check, make sure that it's unloaded. So pull the slide to the rear, push up on the little slide stop lever. To load your firearm, just take your magazine with your snap caps, insert the magazine, and I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna hit this shoulder. So I wanna come back here and just get my hand completely out of the way and let the gun do the work. All right, so to unload it, the first thing you wanna do is get rid of the magazine. So push the magazine release. because That gets rid of all of our rounds, except for one. If you don't do that step first, and you just rack the slide taking the round out of the chamber, as soon as the slide goes back forward, it's gonna load up another one. So that gets rid of all of the rounds. And now you can either try to, to get a little fancy and, and cup your fingers like that and roll this to the side and catch the round, or just pull the slide to the rear and just let the round go and, and we can always pick that up later. And then once it's empty, lock the slide to the rear, visually, physically inspect you don't have the magazine in there anymore and then you can see that the chamber's empty. When your magazine's empty, the last time that it, it tries to fire, the slide locks to the rear because the follower on the magazine has a little tab here at the inside that pushes up on the slide stop. All right, grip. Everybody has a, a firearm in front of them. All right, so you want to be as high on the back of the firearm as you can. Yeah, so we got the back strap right here, and this is the tank. Get as, as high in there as you can so that you're not affecting the function of the firearm. Remember that slide has to come to the rear 
after uh, every shot. All right, your support hand is going to come in right where that uh, that gap between your middle finger and your uh, and your thumb. Kind of cane your hand forward just slightly, and we're looking for a real nice seam here between your thumbs. The way this functions, every time you know the side comes back, being as high on that as possible will, will prevent the uh, the muzzle flip and the, and the recoil. You get uh, second, and third shots on target uh, faster and more accurately. Slight alignment. Sounds like everybody in here has shot fire right before. I look at the square front sight lined up in the square notch of the rear sight so that everything is even across the top. You have an equal amount of light on the left and the right. I have a quick question. You bet. <clears throat> Can anybody participate in the Gander Academy? Yeah, we're, we're open to the public. Um, you have to sign gen up. Generally, our, uh, we do take reservations. Unless the ranges of the simulators are being used by a group or a law enforcement agency is here training or there's a class like today, the live range has a class on it. Uh, we're just open to the public. We accept walk-in traffic if we have openings, but on the weekends we'll uh, book off if you want to make your reservations. And, and uh, even during the weekdays, it's best to make reservations. We have uh, six in the nation. There is one more in Wisconsin, La Crosse. Actually, they're located in on Alaska. Okay. And then uh, Lakeville, Minnesota, which is the Twin Cities. Wichita, Kansas. Lake Mary, Florida, which is by Orlando. And Spring, Texas, which is Houston. All right, how about uh, we head to the simulators? All right. All right. Outdoor Junkies is brought to you by Bullies Game Calls Devil's Lake, North Dakota Lightfield Ammunition Spin and Strut by Timothy Creek Decoys Mighty Deer Lick Whitetails Unlimited and these fine sponsors. Catch it all in Devil's Lake. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it all, all year round in Devil's Lake. Time to get back in and catch some two-inch bluegill. <laughs> I'm excited. I can't wait to reel the first one in. Don't get any better than this, I'm telling you. Up to pop right up. You're watching Outdoor Junkies. Stick with us. <laughs> The spinach strut works better than other strutting decoys because it triggers a dominant genetic response. We get a gobbler's attention by calling as a hen. When the gobbler sees the natural motion of the spinach strut strutting in front of a hen, his response changes from curious and cautious to one of exerting his dominance over this intruder. This genetic response will stop hangups and can bring gobblers in from long distances. Even call shy birds will respond. So if you want the original lifelike motion decoy, get a spinach strut. <laughs> This segment is brought to you by Bullies Game Calls. What's up, junkies? This week we are at Gander Mountain in Madison, Wisconsin. And what we are doing this week is really cool. They've got a thing called the Gander Academy. We're going to be joining up with a lot of the junkies who came with us this week. We're kind of doing a team building exercise. I thought it'd be a lot of fun to get everyone together and uh, get together as a group, learn a lot about pistols, safety, and just firing techniques. Are our virtual firearms. This is the same Glock model 2240 caliber that we had in the classroom, uh, but this one's a little bit different. We field stripped it down, put a different barrel in place that has an infrared laser. And there's an extra little uh, part or two in there that'll allow it to work with a magazine that has a CO2 cartridge. So this provides enough gas pressure that every single time that we pull the trigger, pull the trigger, you get a little recoil out of it. Uh, pound for pound, that's the same uh, uh, recoil as a 9mm when you have a brand new cartridge in there. Each one of these canisters are going to be good for about uh, 30 to 50 shots, depending on how fast you shoot. Uh, we give you plenty while you're in here, and uh, I believe the first location that we're going to go to is our 180 degree simulator. So we're going to be right down here. Come on down here, last door on the left. One of the reasons I wanted to do this was 
the fact that the seasons are pretty much over in Wisconsin right now. Hunting season's over, bow season, everything is done. Well, this is a way to come in and target practice indoors in a controlled environment. You don't have to worry about wind. You don't have to worry about it being too cold or too hot. Everything's all set up for you to go in and get as accurately shooting practice as you possibly can. Mike, you're up next. Awesome. Oh, do we all do the same one? The targets are not going to be in the exact same spot, but yeah, everybody's going to compete on this one, and then we're going to oh. see who has the best score. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. <laughs> For the last time. Oh, okay. Oh, Devil's Lake. <laughs> Time to get back in and catch some two-inch bluegill. <laughs> I'm excited. I can't wait to reel the first one in. 
Don't get any better than this. I'm telling you. I'll get pumped right up. You're watching Outdoor Junkies. Stick with us. <laughs> The spinach strut works better than other strutting decoys because it triggers a dominant genetic response. We get a gobbler's attention by calling as a hen. When the gobbler sees the natural motion of the spinach strut strutting in front of a hen, his response changes from curious and cautious to one of exerting his dominance over this intruder. This genetic response will stop hangups and can bring gobblers in from long distances. Even call shy birds will respond. So if you want the original lifelike motion decoy, get a spinach strut. This segment is brought to you by Whitetails Unlimited, working for an American tradition. Hey, why don't we do the, he said the uh, in your house, but with the plates was pretty fun. Here's the like exploding one. Yeah. Let's do that. There you go, fine. You ready, Andy? Yeah. kick you out. We got a group coming in to the 300 uh, Alpha and we'll put you on the bird for the range for the six lane set up for you. That's your target. And when you hit OK to begin, it's going to give you some instructions. Just follow the instructions and shoot as accurately as you okay. can. Thank you. One really cool thing about this is the fundamentals that you learn from uh, where your finger is on the trigger. And the fact that it shows up on the screen instantly and gives you an idea if you're shooting left, shooting right, if you're pulling it back too hard, if your wrist is loose. All those things come into consideration when you're shooting and you can actually really fine tune your technique. You have unlimited ammunition. The only thing you have to worry about is changing a CO2 cartridge, which is amazing because for all the rounds that we fired off today, I would say that we probably shot about 500 rounds of ammunition. See, my shooting is a little more confined. <laughs> <laughs> and my score is a little bit higher than Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hands are sweaty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This thing's fun. The class is very useful. You learn a lot of tips, uh, especially with the finger placement and stuff. I mean, you really don't, you know, you see the stances and, and it's easy to go out and 
try your own, but when you're actually shown how to use that stance and how to hold your hand and where to put your finger, you can really uh, get your shot zeroed in pretty pretty good for the price. I mean, you can't you can't go wrong. So good as time. far as gun safety too, the, you know, mm -hmm. good tips, techniques, and how to handle your your gun, how to unload it. I think that was pretty helpful. I kind of like the fact that it wasn't as loud as a normal firing range. You know, yep. you're indoors and those are so loud. You don't have to wear the protective gear. Yep. And it just gives you a real good idea, you know. And they also, the, about the not using as much ammunition. You don't have to burn through any ammunition whatsoever, so it's going to be way more cost effective. We want to say thank you, Jeff, from all of us uh, and Gander Academy here. Um, what a great put on. I mean, if anybody has a time, even a rainy day or something, you're looking for something to do. Come to Gander. It's an awesome experience. There's nothing, nothing better besides shooting a real gun that you can get this kind of experience. Outdoor Junkies is brought to you by Bullies Game Calls, Devil's Lake, North Dakota, Lightfield Ammunition, Spin and Strut by Timothy Creek Decoys. Mighty Deer Lick, White Tails Unlimited, and these fine sponsors. Catch it all in Devil's Lake. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it all, all year round in Devil's Lake. Time to get back in and catch some two inch bluegill. <laughs> I'm excited. I can't wait to reel the first one in. Don't get any better than this, I'm telling you. Up to pump right up. You're watching Outdoor Junkies. Stick with us. <laughs> The spinach strut works better than other strutting decoys because it triggers a dominant genetic response. We get a gobbler's attention by calling as a hen. When the gobbler sees the natural motion of the spinach strut strutting in front of a hen, his response changes from curious and cautious to one of exerting his dominance over this intruder. This genetic response will stop hangups and can bring gobblers in from long distances. Even call shy birds will respond. So if you want the original lifelike motion decoy, get a spinach strut. <laughs> What's up, junkies? What are we doing today now, Lair? Hey, we're back at Gander Academy, and we're gonna put a few live rounds through the chamber and uh, see what happens. This is gonna be awesome. Stay tuned. Hey, Jeff. How are we doing today? Hey, guys. How's it going? Good. Are we ready to do some live range shooting? You bet. Just need you each to fill out waivers here. Okay. So if you want to step up, read that over. I need you to sign, date, and print your name down at the bottom. And then I've got some hearing and eye protection here for you. And Go to the range and make some noise. Sweet. This is gonna be awesome. Are you guys all set? Yep. Let's roll. No. All right, Jeff. What do we got going right, on then? <clears throat> so here's how the the, <clears throat> the controls work. Punch in however many feet you want the target to go down range. So punch in anything between uh, five and thirty. 103. All right, so as soon as uh, that looks correct, 20 feet, press enter. And then F1 here for go to make it happen. There's that 20 feet. You make that say all zeros, enter, and F1, and it'll bring a rip. Magazine for this. All right. Here's our Oops. All right, guys. You're all set. Come on up. Who wants to go first? You want, go ahead, Jer. Uh, I'll shoot the pea shooter here. All right. There we go. We're ready to 
to rock and roll. All right, go ahead and pick that up with your right hand, just like we talked about in class. All good handgun grips, you're as high in that firearm as you can. Finger straight off the trigger until we're ready to fire. Yep. And then over on this side, we're just gonna have a gap here between your thumb and your middle finger. So just, just a little bit. There you go, that's called having layered thumbs. You have a nice seam here between your thumbs. That's gonna be your shooting grip. Insert it firmly. Rotate your hand over the top, grab the slot, pull it and let it go. Perfect. Line up that front sight with the front sight. Just like we're Press it to the rear. There you there go. You go. Right. Here, let me see if I can show you what you're doing. I just put uh, two or three more rounds back in it. Okay. I just want you to give me one shot, okay? All right. So line up at the uh, at the number four. <laughs> Finger on the trigger and just give me one shot. <laughs> All right. You see what you did right there? You see what I happened? pushed down, yeah? Yeah. That, that, uh, that, that flinch or that anticipation that people uh, talk about, that's that right there. And if you look with a handgun, it only takes just a little bit of movement. And look at where the are now lined up. Oh, very nice. I tried to trick you. <laughs> Come on up. All right, where are we aiming? Still at number four? Yeah. Just pull the trigger and just let it go uh, click, just like we did with the piece of brass. There you go, right through the fork. Wow. Bam! Thanks, John. All right. So there it is. That was cool. Uh, with handguns, it's, it's you know, they're not very forgiving. A right-handed shooter, it's, it's usually a little uh, over-gripping with your left hand, most stereotypically, right. or maybe not enough finger on the trigger. There's little things that you can tweak with that. The that you train works. So, so you're evaluating skills over there, um, and then you know what you need to come back to the ring. They definitely complement each other nicely. Yeah, no, it's a complete firearms training facility that we have. Yeah. It's fun. All right. You gotta get out here and try this sometime. This is awesome. This is, my uh, shooting's getting more accurate the more we've been shooting here at Gander Academy. Um, between the actual virtual screens over there and now we're doing the live firing. This is, it's coming, it's nice. This is awesome. All right, I knew I, that one I jerked right away. Yeah. Nice. Sweet. Your turn, right? This one was you, that one was you. Uh, that one I know was there was a couple. I think that was five years ago. These two right here were me. Mm -hmm. yep. Not too shabby. It's on it's here, folks, at <laughs> Gander Cat. I can tell you what, this is a lot of fun. Just the, the atmosphere around here, the, the environment that we've got set up. Totally safe. I mean, as you can hear, there's a lot of shooting going on. There's a lot of people here. It's been busy constantly. So make sure that uh, I'd actually call ahead, um, call the Gander Academy here, and set up a time for a lane to make sure that you can get in when you come because it's busy. So definitely check this out. It's it's a lot of fun. It's a great time. Great time to spend with buddies and go out and shoot some rounds. Uh, you know, it's a Thursday night. What else are you gonna do? Sit home and watch us? That's for sure. <laughs> look at look at Lair's shot. He was aiming for number four. Yeah, but see what you need to do is you gotta put three through the same hole like that. See, this is Jeff's shot. Right he can't even hit the middle like Lair can. <laughs> <laughs> Back in and catch some two inch bluegill. <laughs> I'm excited. I can't wait to reel the first one in. Don't get any better than this. I'm telling you, I'm just pumped right up. You're watching Outdoor Junkies. Stick with us. <laughs>